All right, guys, we're up here in beautiful Stewart, Florida today. We're having a little bit of a tough morning, catching some fish, but we're waiting for this tide to switch. And we have brought a couple species into the boat today. Uh, Spanish mackerel, Senate barracuda, also got two pompano now. Pompano number two, looks like he's gonna keep as well. What the pudding catch? Double check. You caught a sheep's head. Oh that. yeah, I did. I caught, so basically so, I caught nothing. I mean, this, so far we've caught a variety of species in the last half an hour, nothing too big, but the day is just beginning. So let's get this guy off the hook and I'll show you. Whoa, and I just hooked up. Nice. Get him, Brian. Yeah, we're hopefully waiting for the tide to come around, but we got some dinner in the boat and I got some more sushi. Woo! Nice. That's a flying mackerel. He's all caught up with my rods because I'm a goofball. All right, there you go. All Almost right. a double up. Now listen, you guys know there's no better eating than pompano in Spanish Max in show, so who cares? He's what else we catch? This is Brian's new favorite sushi. Yeah, oh, it is my new Spanish favorite sushi. Spanish Max. All right, I gotta check this guy. So stick around, we're gonna be doing some different stuff. Tide's gonna come in here and we're gonna really start catching. And uh, then we're gonna head north. It's gonna be a great adventure. Fish on. All right, the float just got eight. And it's your mackerel. <laughs> Perfect. Another mac. Yeah. Another Mac. Oh, he just got mid-air hooked. <laughs> but he's in the boat. That's what matters. All right, you got to put another bait on, Brian. Okay. I got a fish. Get him, Sizzle. Get him. Oh, fish on. Oh, lost him. Lost him. So uh, we were getting a lot of the bites uh, up high. So instead of putting a jig on the bottom like Darcy's doing, I put it on a bobber. So uh, I caught that Mac in like five seconds. That was so fast. <laughs> yeah. Instant. Bridges are a great spot to fish. He was there. Fish nice. on. Nice. Get him, Sizzle. It's a mackerel. Jeez, that thing was fighting. Crushing it, yeah. That was a nice one. Look, Caught real good. Nice, on the jig. Didn't break me off. Eight on the way up. Someone's reeling it up. What do we got? What do we got? What do you got, Sizzle? Probably another Mac. Fighting like a Mac. Ate it on the way up, yeah. Jack Crevail, coming in the boat. Nice. Another species, first Jack of the day. Nothing of too crazy big today, but we are catching fish. We got plenty of good Jennifer pudding, that's all he cares about. You know him. Yeah, and they all look the same on the fork, so it doesn't really bastard. matter. I'll let him go. Let him go. Karma. I got something good. It feels good. But it could be a catfish again, we never know. It's a nice sheep. Nice. Nice sheep's head. All right, I got another species. Brian caught one this morning, and I just got one. And I'm pitching up here in front of the bow on a hole. And sure enough, just got a keeper, sheep's head. Nice fish. All right, he's a little lively right now, but you get the point. <laughs> another dinner fish in the boat. We're gonna have a multi-species epic dinner tonight. What is that? Oh. Woo! <laughs> All right, I'm excited. Feels like some good head shakes on there. Maybe it's a bluefish. We're gonna find out. Ooh, it's darting all over the place. So we just showed up to another spot here. Uh, up here in beautiful Stewart, Florida. Keep going north a little bit. We're by the power plant. That's a snook. Or no, it looks like a bluefish. And Could be a snook. We put out a bunch of lines kind of surrounding the whole entire bow with shrimp. We put dead cut bait out uh, from one of those Senate Barracudas we caught earlier. And we were just getting ready to film something for our Facebook page. Make sure you follow us on Facebook, by the way. And sure enough, our line went off. And it's a nice fish. It took a solid run. It just jumped. So we're going to find out. He's getting close now. Head shaking like crazy. This was the dead bait, right? Yeah, it's a dead bait, so it's probably, it could be a blue fish. It looks we like a blue. Well, we're gonna find I out. got lines everywhere, because I got tangle over here, sizzle, and oh, I got boy. lines on the ground. So just try and bring it in the best you can. Okay, yeah, it's a nice blue. Oh, it's yeah. beautiful. Woo, he's big. Let's see. Biggest blue we've caught in a while. Check him out. Whoa. Nice blue, hopefully he doesn't cut me off. Woo, head shaking like crazy. Come here, buddy. Coming this way. Coming this way. He's hooked perfectly with the circle hook. Mm -hmm. Oh! I thought you said he was hooked perfectly with the circle hook. 
I would have got the net. I'm sorry, you saw it on his lip? No. It was, it was right in his lip. I guess that last shake, he got part of the lip leader. I stink. That's totally your fault, right? And you guys saw it. Lost it at the boat. That's going to be in the blooper reel. Killing it. What you got? I don't even know. So guys, we set up again another spot. Red. Nice trout. Oh my God, Brian, it's huge. Get him in, get him in, get him in, get him in. Oh my God, he's got a gator <laughs> trout. PB trout, ladies. What, bro? Are you kidding me? No. <laughs> How'd you do that? With my lure. Bro, he just got the biggest trout ever I've ever seen in person. That's a gator trout. He just I crushed it. Oh, the gator it. trout. He just for real crushed it. I'm not kidding. So uh, we came to another spot. And we put out shrimp and some cut bait around. And I just started throwing a lure that looks like a, and you guys see this troll this for snook all the time. Yep. This mullet around. So I told the mullet looking lure and. You want a pliers? And I just got this trout. That's huge, Brian. Yeah, I did pliers. Wow, it's a stud. It's a decent trout for me. It's big. Biggest one we've ever caught. The biggest one we've ever caught. Yeah. Brian's still slaying big fish. Biggest one we've Look ever caught. Look at this big trout. Beautiful. It's huge. Great job. Nice job, Puddin. I gotta get one now. Yeah, all right. What you got? Little. Another trout. Ryan. <laughs> Ryan, the trout master over here. Whoop, whoop. Well, this is on a bobber. I happened to grab it, so. Jeez. Another one that's about the same size. No, it's small, way smaller. Dude, he crushed that. We're about to limit out on, on trout. Oh, be quiet. And go home. Brian over here slaying fish. He's got the touch, I don't. Second biggest trout I ever caught. Back to back. Nice. Break his gills. Oh, fish on. Fish on. Get it, get it. Brian, I'm gonna get a fish on this one too. Hold on. I can't help right now, I'm in the middle of tying a knot. Wow, smoke that fish or not. There's a fish on this orange one swimming right here. Can you walk to the bow? But I'm worried about this rod here. Okay, let me get it. So let me wait till you're ready. This fish is out far on. I thought you were going to the front. I, babe, I want you to grab this rod under my foot before the fish oh, takes geez, it. Okay. It's wrapped twice on the green braid. Oh, oh you got a trout. Do I? I think so. Oh, you're wrapped on all other I'm wrapped on everything. Yeah. Looks like that other one was wrapped. I got every rod wrapped. Oh, he's got this one wrapped too. Oh man. We're having a hard time right now. It's really hard when you fish six different baits. Brian's doubled up. Are we doubled up? I don't even know what's going oh, on okay. over here. Yeah, I told you that one was wrapped really bad. Yeah, we were fishing like seven, six or like five or six different lines in all different directions. And so somebody's constantly got to man them. It's a lot of work. And when a fish takes them, you don't know what direction they're gonna go, so they wrap you up in other lines. And whatever I have is wrapped on another line, too. <laughs> Hopefully it stays hooked. I don't think this line, I don't think this wasn't on anymore. All right, let's just get this guy in. Okay. And let's get reset, the fish are here. Finding it on the new Azores. I can feel some massive head shakes. It's a bluefish. But you see how I'm wrapped? Look, no, look. Can how can I help? Look. I feel a fish. Yeah, there's Something. a fish on a green one, I told you. That's your fish. That's a big trout. I got him over no, here. No, Snook. It's a lady. I got a lady? Are you have yeah, a lady? it's wrapped around the backside over here, jumping all over. A lady? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna leave it. Yeah, leave it. Total disaster. All right, I got the net all set up, ready to go. I see. We're gonna have to cut all those lines. We should show everybody. This is a mess. This, this is, is not a these trout. These are all tangled together. <laughs> yep. What do you got, Susan? I was trying to man the lines, but the second you walk away, they get all tangled. I have all right, no so idea what tangled up. Have. Yes. I had the wrong setting on the camera, so the audio might be a little messed up for the past couple minutes. Since you got a fish on. All right, so praying this fish doesn't go wrapped up even further into our rods. Please be a red. Although Turn I think here. It's... Turn here. It's big. All right, the lady fish is over there. Crap. Come this way. Come this way. Oh my gosh, shark. Oh my lord, I told you. No, you didn't. Well, I told it might be a shark. Bring, don't, don't let him go that way. Little black tip? Yeah. 
Woo! Another little. There he is. That's a bull shark. Is it? Yeah. A little bull? Yeah, it's a bull shark, 100%. You can see their massive head right there. It's, yeah, and they don't have any black tips. That's a bull shark. Inshore bull shark, guys. Check that out. Nice, just whooped them. Never jumped. I honestly thought it was a jack with those big head shakes, but that's a stud like four footer, four and a half footer right there. Look at them. Yeah, should I just cut that? Sure. Or should I try and get it out? Let me just cut it. Brian's Pull dangerous. Him Pull him now, he's gonna get a tail. So we get the hook out. Woo! <laughs> oh, he didn't like that. No, he didn't like that. All right, we're gonna oh. cut it. All right, this hook is just in his corner of his mouth, so it's not bad. It'll come out easy, but be getting careful. him in the boat is going to be worse than anything Please else. Please be careful. Yeah, I know. <laughs> These bull sharks are not black tips. There he goes. There he, there he goes. He was getting yeah. tired, right? Yeah. All right. Dang. We had some nice fish going on there. Big red. I mean a bull shark. Yeah. <laughs> Big red. That's how many reds we catch. Big trout. Zero. All right. We got a huge mess over here at the line. But uh, yeah, he was, he was getting, you know, when they start floating like that, you got to cut them loose and get rid of them no matter what. Because he just, you know, obviously, you know, sharks, if they're not moving, they're not breathing. So it's not like a regular fish. They can just breathe without moving. Uh, so they start rolling around like that. You know, straight up and down, you gotta get rid of them. So, the hook is just right here. It'll come out. The blue one, the blue one. Underneath that rod. Go underneath that rod. Yep, real tight. Oh, good. I got it. You got him? You're, you're over. You're underneath. All right. Where am I? You're good. Go to front, go to real, front. Brian, go. It went down. Good. <laughs> oh, nice. I'm back. <laughs> you're back. Ladyfish ride. The lady fish. That's why all our lines got tangled before. Because Darcy had that bull shark on a dead bait. Yep. And uh, and then a lady fish took one of our shrimp and see how that just went right around the boat? It, it went around the boat and wrapped all the lines up. So <laughs> dumb lady fish. <laughs> That's a giant. That's a giant. All right guys, we are back at the house and it's time to flay up our multi-species slay fest. We actually caught quite a few fish. Like we had said, we caught a bunch of Spanish mackerel, which Brian's have already been having for sushi. I've laid up a couple of those for him, as well as those beautiful pompano, that big sheep's head, and then the two trout that Brian caught. So I need to catch up to him over here. And I am getting my knife super sharp. You guys usually see me using my 10 inch sharpening steel, which is great as well. But you guys know that Smith has the best sharpening products in the world. And a lot of people are afraid to sharpen their knives on blocks like this. So this is their try and home, try, Smith's try home sharpener. They got a coarse, a medium, and a fine. And I'm using the medium just to make sure that sh that blade is extra sharp. And it comes with honing solution. And this is just a really great setup. And don't forget about my promo code so you can save extra money on that too. But my knife is extra, extra sharp to fillet this fish. And the, the saying goes, a sharp knife is always more safe than a dull knife. So let's dive right into this big trout. Super jealous, because now I need to go catch one myself. And we're just gonna see how delicious this meat looks. I flayed, oh, well, I'm going to flay this fish, but I also bled this fish while it was alive. So we're just gonna take, out, take a look at how delicious this meat looks. And like we said, it's been quite a while since we've had any trout of our own. And this fish is a little on the frozen side. So <laughs> I'm gonna work through them as best I can but he got super frozen in the cooler and he still feels like a rock. But I just sharpened my knife, so this should be no problem. All right, just like any other fish and they don't have the craziest scales in the world, so they are easier to play in my opinion. But looking forward to getting more and catching up to Brian because he's just been He's just been getting personal best after personal best fish lately. Insane. Almost done with this side. Don't forget about all the links down below like we talked about. If you want to get that same exact lure that Brian caught this giant fish on, that's going to be down below Amazon store. Um, one of my favorites, I've caught every species that swims inshore on that lure. And then don't forget about my website, darcyloffshore.com. And we got a whole bunch of new apparel for men and also don't forget about the sterling silver necklaces. I'm actually wearing a pompano necklace, sterling silver, pretty cool. And then everything else that I hand make, the keychains, the bracelets, all that good stuff. All right, so you can see right here, looks like this fish was had eggs right there on the backside, maybe not. 
but the, you can see how filleted that up is. And right here, it's just super, super hard. It was frozen. But we got our beautiful trout fillet right here. And you skin them just like any other fish, but it looks really tasty. I don't see any worms. Sometimes trout have worms. And unfortunately, a lot of fish do have parasites in worms, believe it or not. It's just part of the game. Uh, Wahoo have, have parasites in their stomach. From inshore to offshore fish, you're more than likely bound to find some kind of worms in your dinner, just part of the game. All right, so I missed a little bit of skin right there. Not a big deal. Just knock that off. But that meat looks quite tasty, delicious. And then of course you just knock those pin bones out, but this is all ready to go. We're gonna take it in the house for a really tasty meal that Cooking with Pudding is gonna cook us. And I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the other side of this fish and then meet you guys in the house for the Cooking with Pudding portion of this video. Thanks Dr. Sizzle for an excellent job filleting those fish. We gotta stop freezing the fish so much in the cooler because it, it makes it kind of difficult. But a welcome guys to another edition of Cooking with Pudding, a kind of messed up edition. Here we go, all right? Uh, thanks a lot. Um, today we, we started out making trout almondine. I put, or we put in on the Twitter and the Facebook uh, requests for trout recipes, because you know, we don't catch them very much. And of course I've caught the biggest trout ever on our boat, I'm just saying. Uh, so a lot of guys recommended trout almondine, which is kind of an almond dish. And I, <laughs> I'm saying it really weird, an almond dish. So what I did first is like we always do, is we just salt and pepper that fish, okay? In this case, we put a, a light dusting of flour on it, and then just in a pan, in this nice, of course, this nice beautiful pan you guys got me, and you can find all the stuff that we use here down in the Amazon store, uh, and, and here's the link, including that beautiful lure, as we've said a couple times. Uh, so just fried them up in the pan. It took a couple minutes on each side. Again, you know, just check them with a fork, just like I always do, I always tell you. And that made a nice little crispy uh, cover, coating on them. So, you know, a little texture. So that was really super nice. I really liked how that turned out. Uh, and then it came time for the almondine. And of course, we didn't have any almonds uh, and it required sliced almonds. I didn't feel like going to the store. So instead, we had this big old thing from Kirkland and I just took the almonds out and crushed them up. And of course, that took approximately three times longer than it would have <laughs> from going to the store. So I recommend you get the sliced almonds from the store. And uh, one reason I like this recipe is it's using the same pan, or at least supposedly. So I took the fish out, put some butter in the pan again, uh, and then added these almonds and, and cooked them up a little bit and then added a little bit of lemon. And frankly, it turned out like crap. Kind of burnt a little bit. I, I didn't have the pan on high. I don't know what happened, but I ditched that. Ditched it. They have teach you today how we overcome obstacles, fishing and <laughs> in the kitchen. And so I just made up a quick butter and lemon and even a little bit of sugar in there and just made up a quick sauce for this fish, which is already going to be great with the nice texture I put on it. So Sizzle, I got the sauce right here. Come take a look. Get down here on this food, Sizzle. Sizzle's behind the camera. I'm just gonna dump, look at this. Just gonna dump this on here. It's gonna be delicious. And you know, I'm going for kind of a dietary thing. We'll put a little, little garnish on there. And it looks like it's from the restaurant. That could be from Bonefish Grill or Carabas. Look at that. Where's my plate? Where's your plate? We're gonna make your plate. Look up, Dar Sizzle. <laughs> your plate's coming next. And we're gonna see you at the table. See how Darcy likes my saved meal. Let's get to it. All right, Dar Sizzle. Let's see how it goes. I see you've already tasted some. Very good. Yeah? It looks good. Simple recipe, but good recipe. It's a thought that counts. <laughs> Ew, I pulled that one right out of the gutter. You see that one in a quick quick fashion? It's delicious. Now the, the bomb. The bomb, you liked it? Trout is delicious. Yeah, it's good. It's Now it's a white fish. It's, uh, it's kind of soft, it's not firm. Right, and uh, no, it's pretty good. It's mm. better than it's not. It's not the. I would say it's not the best fish in the whole wide world. Like, I think Spanish mac and sheep and crappy are better. You like Spanish mac better? I love the Spanish mac. Jeez. I do. Whoa. But this is good. This is great. And again, you know, we didn't. Not no monsters today, but I mean, ah. sheep said trout, Spanish, and pompano. I mean, that's like the four best dinner fish you can catch. Yeah. In the in the in shore. Sorry, I'm playing with my food. Why? I got a big old worm. <laughs> a cooked up worm. <laughs> so good for you. I thought it, Delicious. I, I thought I put hair in your chest, Big Mouth. That's what you told us last I know. video, didn't it you? Does. With your dad. I literally just cut it open and like a big long string of worm came out. That was awesome. 
So, <laughs> I love it. It's icing on the cake. So enjoy your trout. Yes. <laughs> Anything you can ever find is down in the description below for the future and all that good stuff. And we have a lot of awesome content coming your way real soon. Of course, follow your dream. And, and keep, keep on catching. I should have waited.